What does life look like when you're done with full-time RVing? How will you know when it's time to stop and move on? We're the Farnsworths. We're working on our fifth year of full-time RVing and travel nursing. Last February, we purchased a home base in Phoenix, Arizona and set it up as a short-term rental. Oh, what a wonderful sight to see our rig in our driveway. What does life look like when you're done with full-time RVing? How will you know when it's time to stop and move on? These are questions that we have asked ourselves a thousand times over and over again since about the 12 month mark. And it's something that a lot of people think about after they hit the road full time. Will you quit completely? Will you go part time? Will you find some kind of hybrid? What is your end game? We're not quitting. We're hitting the road again. We're not quitting. But on this channel, we talk real life. And this is real talk and real conversations that we've had probably once a contract at least. It is time to get loaded up. All this stuff you see in the garage, this is stuff that we took out of it when we took it to get repairs. And now I gotta find some place for it inside the RV again. And we're gonna go through and clean some stuff out because as you know, if you travel for a while inside your RV, you collect things. I'm sure there's things that we need to get rid of or things that could stay here in our extra room of storage that we don't really need to take with us on the road. So that's what I'm working on today. I gotta move this beautiful thing. Feeling a bit overwhelmed at what to start with. Like That's my biggest thing with things that feel like big projects is where to start. So I guess I'm just gonna start by getting started. John is currently getting new batteries for us. Home sweet home. It smells like an RV in here. And if you're an RVer, you know what I mean. It's got that like wood cabinet smell. I don't know, it is a thing. I swear, I'm not making it up. Every RV has the same smell, in my opinion. There's a toilet seat. <laughs> We got a new toilet seat because our old plastic one just like the seat, like the hinges just broke. What you got there? My throne. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Trey? <laughs> I love this match so much. Our room is kind of a disaster right now. We really just threw everything on our bed and emptied our closet as best we could because now we have lights in our closet again. Actually, again, we never had them. They never worked right, but they do now, so that's exciting. We started with a really vague end game. We thought maybe we'll travel for a year and then settle down. And as you know, we've kind of gone with a hybrid of things because it turns out that settling back down is a lot to unpack in real life logistics and the end game is ever evolving. Take housing. Where are you gonna live when you're done full-time RVing? Do you wanna return to a traditional home in a suburban neighborhood? Do you want to downsize and maybe do something like a condo or an apartment? We went through lots of different stages of trying to figure out what came next. Two years ago, we were looking for land. We thought we wanted a homestead. We were going to park our RV on it and just live the homestead life. And a lot of RVers transitioned into that afterwards. Then we thought, well, what if we buy a, a lot that has five or six RV sites on it that we can rent out to other people? And we started looking for that here in Phoenix. And we found a couple things that were available, but they were really far out farther than we wanted to be outside of the city. We have a whole video up here about our house buying process and all the things that we went through and all the ways we changed our minds about things as the process continued. Ultimately, as you know, we are here in Glendale with a short term rental while we are gone. But this is not our end game. It's ever evolving. Look at that beautiful sunshine behind me. I gotta say one thing that I'm kind of excited about is that even though we don't have a six month renter like we thought we would, like that would ensure that we have monthly income coming in to cover our mortgage payment and all that stuff, which is nice. But on the same hand, it's really nice to be able to like scoot back over here in between guests 
and access our storage area. So if I leave something on here that I find that I don't really need later, I can come back and put it away in storage or vice versa. If I put something away that I discover I really need that, I can go get it. And that is part of why I love the hybrid lifestyle of being a full-time RVer, but still owning a house, still having a place that you can store things at. I've left this to the last day. We have, we're have we supposed to leave tomorrow. And it's not like we can't do this once we get out boondocking. We can figure this out then. But in the meantime, the kids have nowhere to put their clothes. And so pulling all the things out of the house to put it in here is really stressing me out right now. Okay, I'm in Chloe's bed. All of the contents of her bed are now on the floor. Oh, you wanna see that? And there's a lot. Can't believe how much stuff was up here. It's time to purge. Do not buy a Black & Decker Dust Buster. They're oh. worthless. Damn I'm it. taking it back. I'm emptying it out and taking it back. It was not worth the money. This is our <laughs> this is our vacuum cleaner from inside. Yeah, tell her how many- Inside the house. Tell them how many times you went back to the grocery store. I went three times today. Three. I can't put the carpet down yet because that is the floor currently. <laughs> We don't have a pad yet to go underneath our rug, but we might get one in the future. We went with an outdoor carpet so that it can be easily cleaned. We can sweep it, uh, we can clean it fairly well. If we got a regular piece of carpet, I'm worried that it would get too full of dirt. I actually really like how it turned out. Chloe's bed was bad. You know what else is bad? This is really bad. It smells really, really bad in our trailer right now because the fridge, while we emptied it, I thought we emptied it all. Um, apparently I accidentally left some deli meat in there in the oh. bottom. I'm not even gonna show you because it's a horror show. Please don't. Um, Please don't. And I'm really glad it's not smell-o-vision. We're on day three of trying to exit the house and organize and everything, and you missed a lot because I was so just stressed out. I didn't film any of it, so you you really missed all the chaos, but that's that's okay. We are finishing up. I'm almost, almost ready. I still have a few things to pack up. It turns out we moved in more than we thought. It just took a lot longer to to move everything out and back into the rig and then set the house. So we had to launder everything for the house, for the rental house, and then launder all of our clothes here and, yeah. and all of our bedding here because everything was old. When we got it back from in the shop, it had it was the, the way that we left it when we arrived in Phoenix. So it, it needed a deep clean and everything needed to be washed and it just took forever. I have done all the things for you. I've worked and toiled for hours on end and I have nothing left. <laughs> I have nothing. I'm going to take a nap right here in between these boxes. <laughs> when I say we have never been this tired before, I mean it. I'm finally ready to close it up and get out of here. If you're in the market or you know someone in the market for a short term rental in Phoenix, check out the link below. Look how cute this place is, I mean, come on. Are you excited? Who you want to ride with? You want to go get in the Jeep? You want to get in the Jeep? You want to get in the truck? You can go with Aaron. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready.
<laughs> Seriously. We all had bets on how long it would take her to do this. Not long. Captured you in a foggy cloud, baby. Standing on my toes on the edge. I'm ready to go. Made it after a couple of stops. Well, just one stop. We had to stop and get fuel and propane and all the things, and now we're finally here. We are all settled in out in the desert. We're ready for adventure. Join us next week and I don't know what. Join us, just join us next week. We don't even know what's gonna happen next week, but it's gonna be awesome. Maybe I'll get this oven started. Maybe you'll get the oven started. <laughs> oh. Hopefully.